everybody. Welcome back to Small Talk Japan. On this podcast, we talk about all things Japan in English. My name is Michi, and these are my co-hosts. Natsuki. And Alex. Hey. And today, actually tomorrow, is Mother's Day. So we thought it would be appropriate to talk about Mazakon. <laughs> Welcome to today's show. <laughs> <laughs> Mazakon. Hmm. So, so Mazakon is like Japanese English for mother complex. Yeah. Um, should I define it? Or Natsuki, do you want to define it? Please. So the definition of a mother, mazakon is basically a boy or a man who's in love or is dependent upon his mother. Okay. And they have a word for it in this country because so, it's so prevalent. So mummy's boy or mummy issues, something like that. You like to say mummy issues. I like that word. <laughs> <laughs> You've got mummy issues. It's a good way to start a conversation. If someone told me I had mummy is issues, I think I'd have to stop and think about it. Like, why would you say that to me? Like, we just like, what did I do? <laughs> uh, I use it as a greeting. Hi, you've got mummy issues. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of mummy issue happened in your country? I don't know. Like, um, usually with a wife, innit? Like your own wife, like mother-in-law. Yeah. Being bossy and then telling the son what to do. And then... Isn't the general perception like the, the wife's mother is yeah. the annoying one? No, I don't think so. Is I thought it? it was the husband's mother, right? Mm -mm. Maybe. Because it's like the husband relies on his mother and then gets married. That, that, that's in Japan, right? And then compares the wife to the mother. That's in Japan. But I'm talking about in the West. No, they have that in the West as well, I'm sure. Like, with like my wife's stuff. mother is in town. Oh, like that's the comment, right? Oh, there's, there's that as well, yeah. But I think it works for the husband's mother too. Pretty sure it does. But we're talking about mazakon. Mazakon is like the definition of it is like uh, a, a man who is completely and utterly relying on his mother or who's infatuated with his mother and then can't have a relationship with a wife. Or if he does, he damages his relationship with his wife because he talks and you know, he constantly compares the two. Mm -hmm. I think that there's like kind of, maybe it's just because I didn't experience too much of this when I was there, but I think there's a much different relationship between mothers and sons in japan there compared to the west mm. first of all let's just talk about one thing this is the weird thing bathing at what age do sons stop bathing with their mother nine years old it can be up to 12. oh really okay 12. think about that but 12. when i was 12 i would not want to get in a bathtub with my mom naked uh, yeah until the thing is growing <laughs> <laughs> oh what well, what are we talking about today? i think i think i'm not sure if she's talking about at the moment or like in general but i think she's talking about puberty <laughs> oh wait okay. we're talking about the other yeah, one yeah, no, pubes oh, pubes. Well, pubes right <laughs> talking about pubes Okay. Whenever we do kind of sensitive talks, it's always like, it's really just a, what is it? It's a crapshoot with Nazi. You never know what she's going to say. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so the borderline is pubes. So, so, so. Mm. So what, what is it? If there's grass on the field? Uh, let's, <laughs> let's play cricket. No, I, I think it's if there's grass on the field, field let's play ball or something like that. Uh, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Grass so, on the wicket, let's play cricket. <laughs> but not with your family. That's wrong. Oh God, you just made it awkward. <laughs> you you chose the topic. I did choose the topic because uh, I think it's I think it's interesting because I think in um, okay so let's just talk with kids for a second here. Okay? okay, so I think mommies in Japan fall in love with their bo their baby boys and make them into like bo little boyfriends, mm, mm. and they buy them all sorts of fashionable stuff and all that stuff. And I don't see that so happening so much in the West. Mm. I think they're very dependent on the parents, right? Because mm. they get you know. Um, there's always like a support network around them. They don't really go free and do other things, right? Go to the, school, the baby, the boys. Katsu, you, yeah. know, you know, they're always looked after by somebody. Mm. They're usually the mom. Yeah, and um, no, it could be at school. It'd be the teacher. You know, the bukatsu, the sports club. You know, there's always some support network around. It's not like just go outside and play. When I was and, a kid, <laughs> like it was literally like I was just setting stuff on fire and like just being crazy because I had no supervision when I was yeah. a kid. It's like do whatever you want. Uh, go outside and come back later my know. mom would literally put me outside in the summer in vegas where you can die of like heat exposure and she would just lock the door and she'd <laughs> like come home for lunch yeah mm. yeah come home for lunch <laughs> yeah yeah but yeah that just doesn't happen in japan like the, yeah like you said the the father is usually at work so mm. 
the boy's relationship with the father is usually weaker than the boy's relationship with the mother, who mm -mm. is, like you said, taking him everywhere. Mm -mm. I mean, there's like all, you know, variations. Obviously. We're, we're just generalizing here. Just, you know, but like, yeah, I do kind of get what you mean. But is it like in Japan, there's more people who are really, really attached to the mother as adults, do you think, than other countries? I, well, it does because it comes up in, in media and on like, uh, what is it called? Yahoo questions. What is that in Japanese? Yeah, so it's like they ask about that. They're like, hey, you know, I'm married to a Mazakon boy and he does this and this and what should I do? And I don't really think there's a fix for it. Divorce him. Mm. Well, wouldn't that make him happy so he can go back to his mom? Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> No, but uh, getting back to uh, just the causes of it, right? And so I think in Japan, there's also this, this and um, what is the word? This resistance to make the son self-reliant. Like in America, we'll, they, we'll keep, teach the kids how to cook, clean, and do a lot of things on their own. And in Japan and other Asian countries, the mom will do everything for the mm, freaking kid. Mm, 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 that's true. Things that are uh, getting, uh, I mean, different. Now. By, yeah, little by little, but... Yeah, basically true. I mean, I know a lot of grown men who don't know how to wash the dishes. They don't know how to do their own laundry. They don't know how to cook. And they're just like, they're all domestic chores. They don't know how to do it. Mm. Well, there's a lot of people who live with the parents past, you know, adulthood. So they grow up and they stay at home. And when I work with people who bring bento to work that the mother's made oh, for them. I just learned a new word today. Kodomo bea ojichan. What is that? I don't know. So it's like Cold War is like the kid's room. Mm. Ojita is like the old man. Mm. So it's the old man who's still living in his room from, <laughs> a, from a, being a child. Mm, mm, mm. Could you imagine? No. I can't it, imagine. In England, do you just get the hell out at 18 like we do? Well, when you go to university, you never come back. Yeah, dude. Or if you, if come, you can. If you, you come back, you failed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It sucks, man, to come back home. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's like, you're, it's the walk of shame back to home. You're like, oh. Yeah. But like, in, I mean, it's kind of changing now because with the millennial generation, and everything and whatever is now, I think it's gen whatever. Um, but before it's like you hit 18 and you're like, get the fuck out of here. I, my life, my rules. Goodbye, mom. Yeah. But in Japan, it's like, oh, I don't want to leave. I want to stay at home. Mom's yeah. going to make me a bento. So you have seven brothers, but nobody living with your mother. So remember how I told you it's like the walk of shame to go back home? Mm. Three of them. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are. Uh -huh. No, uh, I, I'm actually glad that some of my, them live with my mom because, you know, she's kind of, if she was by herself, it'd be really difficult. But no, no, if you, if you have your shit together, you leave and you don't come back. Mm. Mm. You live your own life. Right. Live your own life. Mm. Do you know anybody who's like Mazakon? In Japan or what? So, I can't think of anybody off the top of my head. But. So I, I was trying to do this as well, but I think that if there's Mazakon people, they don't, it's a Venn diagram, right? They don't overlap with us. Right. Like those people are just like not the people that we hang out with. Maybe Natsuki can name a few of them. No, on, no, li Live no, on air. No, <laughs> just, just name drop them. No, 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 no. I'll be in trouble. <laughs> so uh, getting into this, okay. So Mazakon people uh, are like, they say you're in love with your mom, but it's not just being in love with your mom. But it's also not being able to do anything without your mother's input. Hmm. I actually do know some guys like, that are like that. They're like, ask mom everything. And then mom takes care of everything for them. Hmm. What they've got to learn is you should ask your wife everything instead. Then, is that is that like oksan kon? Yeah, but you've got to do that. Otherwise yo, yo just, kon? Well, just that's get what that happened after they got married, right? Yeah. Uh, ask wife everything. No, that's what. You does do. your husband ask you everything? Not everything, but most of the things I think most he does. <laughs> not, like, not like asking, like, like we talk. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> Why you let, look at me, me like let that? Me, <laughs> let me ask you a question. You have two brothers. Yeah. Were and, are either of them like mazakon? No. Because my mother passed away a longer but time ago. Before that. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm pretty sure my dad is kind of Mazakon. Your dad is Mazakon? Yeah. And then, you know, my grandma lived Make sure with you, you say his name, too. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> We've been living with, you know, our grandma since I was little. That's right. She used right. to live with you guys. Right, right, right. So she is like, a, like, like she was... Stronger than my mother. So she's like the... Powerful one. Yeah, I matriarch. mean... Matriarch. Yeah, I mean, yeah. house... Women in the house was yep. all with her. We said matriarch is matriarch. the top, top woman. Oh, okay, that's it. She was, so she was above your mom. Right. How did your mom feel about that? Was it like kind of annoying? Yeah, I guess so. But she was nice. And then she says she become like her daughter. Oh, so it was a positive situation. Yeah. But... So like many Japanese families, like 
uh, like if you were the oldest boy, yeah, and then your oldest boy and the grandma live together. I、uh, say、so、you take care of mom. Right, right. Well, that's good.、Mm-hmm. And in the case like grandma,、uh, I mean boys always ask mom what not not what to do, but see the grandma always take care of the family. Okay. And so the the boys rely on them. Dude, that's actually one thing I wanted to discuss is like、uh, the women in this country they keep doing housework like well into their nineties and stuff. Mm, 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 mm. And you're like, dude, have a break, but they don't. Yeah, they just keep they just keep doing. I mean, in your situation, do you have the grandma on the wife's side? Uh, no. Why was that such a long answer? Because I was trying to remember what like they, they were very very old. Ah,、uh, like, like, about a hundred. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. So lived over a hundred, but then passed away. But yeah, I mean, they they used to take care of themselves at home though. They never went in an old person's home or anything really. That's that's the、yeah. thing. There's not a lot of old people homes in Japan that are like really like popular. Mm. Right. Well, there's, there's more now, I think, but yeah, you know, people tend to be quite independent into old age, right?、Mm. So you know, if they're there, you kind of get the eldest son, like you were saying before, to move back and help them out and things like that.、Oh, that's not a bad thing, I don't think. You know, but the main problem is, I think, when you get married and you have to be independent and you're still stuck with your own parents, you know what I mean?、Uh, and you can't get away from them. That's not a good, healthy adult life, I don't think. There tends to be a lot of pressure from the. Parents to the married couple in Japan,、mm. you know, and like, cause the husband has to get in good with her father, yeah, and she's got to get in good with his mother.、Mm. So like, there's often talk of what's it, it's like bullying from the stepmom,、Mm-mm-mm. yeah, right.、Mm. So that's part of like mazakon as well is like allowing that to happen. I think if you can't stand up for your wife, that's when it becomes like mazakon from the the wife's side of things, right? If you're just going with your mother's opinion、yeah. about everything、mm-hmm. and never standing up for her,、mm. you know that's that's where it all kind、right. of comes from. I think. But you know? recently, opposite things is happening too. Like daughters go to mom home every time, like every weekend, and then that's how they become like. Divorce. Do you understand what I mean? Like married couple.、Uh, so like the wife ignores the husband and hangs out with her mom. Right, 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 right. I see that a lot. Like、mm. mother and daughter going shopping、Mm-mm. together. Ah,、oh, what is that called? You know I mean? That was on that dude's video. It, the different types of Japanese women, and the one was like the best friends with mommy type. So, so,、yeah. so. They they wear the same clothes. Wow. It's just like like best friends. Yeah.、Mm. And they're always single and divorced. Divorced mom and single daughter.、Mm-mm. Right, right, right.、Mm-mm. Every time.、Mm. Wow, I wonder if they wear big pants like an old woman. You know what I mean? What? Like an older lady, big pants or whatever. <laughs> instead of like, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you talking about? Are you、that. talking about panties? Yeah. Oh, underwear. So, so we had a miscommunication of what pants means. <laughs> Sorry, linguistic breakdown. You guys say trousers. <laughs> trousers. We say、yeah. pants. I was、Un- thinking like jeans or something. Underwear. No. Um, so let me ask you two, since you're married.、Um, this kind of was a shock for me in one of my previous relationships, but I always felt that the couple should be like support each other and become like a rock solid thing.、Mm. And when the parents like come in and be annoying, like they're always going to be, you have to stick up for each other.、Mm. Is that what you guys do? Is that normal? Because I think that's my normal.、Uh, what I do is just agree with everybody, and then there's no problem. What if they're saying conflicting <laughs> things? Don't, don't don't have them in the same room. <laughs> But like、uh, you were saying, defend your wife, right? So like it, yeah, it, I mean, there's like if they draw, if they go over the line, you got to say something, obviously. But you know, it's just about、uh, drawing the boundary until everybody gets used to each other, and、uh, then it tends to sort itself out. But as long as you don't stoke the fire, yeah, and start saying, "My mum said this about you." Isn't that, awesome yeah, yeah, that's awesome? Yeah, but that's terrible. That's terrible, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, does like your husband ever say, "Hey, my mom said this about you" or something? No, he never do that because if they, I, I don't know if such things happening to on him, but he doesn't do it because he, we, he, if he said that to me, me and her will be not to get along together. Ah,、right? so he protects your relationship. Right, right, right.、Mm. Yeah, I always feel like when I when a like if you're in a、uh, relationship, if the your partner uses their parents against you, it's time to go. Yeah, like it's just you can't fight their parents. Mm-mm. Mm. Yeah, there's like a from the start though, both sets of parents get quite. You know, they, they know each other a bit more than they do in the West, perhaps, right?、Uh, so they have like Yui no. Yeah. Before they get married, so both sets of parents meet each other,、uh, and have this little kind of. 
meal or whatever. Um, Usually at an expensive restaurant. Yeah, so the relationship kind of starts from there. Yeah. And then obviously the, the husband has to go and ask for permission to marry the daughter and stuff like that. Do you do that in, in England? Not really, I don't think. Do we? I don't know. We do it in America. You, you go ask the dad, you're like, hey. You know, May I have your daughter's hand in marriage? That kind of thing. No. I guess it kind of it's more casual now because like the boyfriend probably knows the father from earlier in the relationship. Yeah. So when you're gonna get married, they just kind of assume, hey, you're gonna pop the question. But in Japan, the first time you go to the parents' house is basically you're gonna ask them to marry him. Yeah. Mm. The first That's, time you meet him, it's weird, isn't it? It's very traditional. Mm. Like yeah. my uh, some girlfriends ago, uh, I met her parents <laughs> like like three days into the relationship, and they're like, hey, you wanna come over for drinks? And it didn't matter. Mm. Right. 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 But like, yeah, other people are like, you know, don't bring him here unless he's ready to marry you. Right. <laughs> I didn't bring any boyfriends before I get married to my house. I mean, my parents' house. But here's a, another mother uh, thing. If a daughter has a boyfriend, it's okay for the boyfriend to meet the mother. Right, it's right. not okay to meet the father right. until it's time to marry. Is that's that true. right? That's true. No. Mm. Wow. In my the, case, that's true. Moms are like, oh, is this your boyfriend? It's great. But don't meet the father yet. Don't bring right, the mother right. to the father yet. Mm, mm, mm. It's weird, right? Is it? It was my normal to me. I don't know. I think it's weird. I think like, I don't know. I don't know. It's but in America, the, America, the image is like when you come home to, or when you come to get the girl for prom, the dad is like there with a shotgun. <laughs> shotgun. <laughs> like, don't you do anything foolish hmm. kind of thing. Hmm. That's my daughter. I don't know. I don't think, I don't know. But uh, getting back to the mother context, I think in the West that I think instead of like loving your own mother, there's a lot of infatuation with like your stepmother. Mm. Is that? Or with your friend's mother, the MILF. Ah, the MILF. American Pie. <laughs> no, no. I love it that you just like, I get a point. <laughs> I know the movie. <laughs> yeah, mm. American Pie. The MILF. Yeah. MILF. Mm. So, uh. So in the West, I think I think we're like concerned about the non biologically related mother figure, huh. right? Right, Mrs. Robinson, right? Mm -mm. Right, right, right. But in Japan, it's like no, just go straight for the like. No go, way! I don't think it's the same no thing. No way! It's it sometimes feels that way. Well, what, like, what was the word? Oedipus. Oh, that's it. Uh, um, Oedipus. Yeah. Octopus. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Can we put that in one of our best ever reels? Oedipus, Oedipus, octopus. <laughs> You're so Japanese. Are you hungry or something? No. Mind you, there is it some tentacle like related it. material oh that Japan's also known for. But let's not get into that too much. We could do we could do that at our other offshoot uh, show that we just that we decided last. Oh yes, yeah. yeah, Dirty Talk Japan. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of going that way anyway. This one. So, um, by the way, Mother Complex. The word is from the TV drama, nine, early nineties. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Tell yeah. us about this. What's this? Uh, the, the name of the drama was Zutto Anata wo Zutto Suki Datta. And then the... Is this, is this the mother saying this about the son? No, the, the son loved someone for a long time, but mother, you know, you know, denied it and he, could, he couldn't, you know, love right. her. Do you understand what I mean? If I love someone and my mom's like, you can't be with that person, I'm like, bye, mom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he couldn't do it. Uh, and he loved somebody for a long time. So he asked his mother to get married with her. So the, the mother arranged married with her. Do you understand what I mean? Wait, right. wait, one, one more time. So mm -hmm. the, he couldn't get a girlfriend? What did you just say? The, the, the girl in the middle yeah. is the one that he always liked yeah. since when he was young. Yeah. So he wanted to get married with him, but he couldn't say that. So he asked his mother to make an arrangement marry with her. Okay, so his mother was like a matchmaker type Matchmaker, thing. matchmaker. Ah, and he was a loser. Yeah, and yeah. then she got married with her. But the, the mother is always around the couple, I mean the marriage oh, couple. Yeah, that sounds super positive <laughs> and not toxic at all. So how did it work out? <laughs> and the, it, it, I don't know why, uh, he was rich, very rich. And then the, the wife got married with him. Yeah. But it he... just looks so Oedipus to she me. She always... I mean, he always rely on her. Like, okay. like he's basically touching her boobs right there right, like, right, right, with right, his right. head. And then the <laughs> mother always treat him like a baby. Right, okay. Right. And then she cheated in with her ex-boyfriend. Uh, uh, the wife did? The wife did. Because she was like, I don't want this Mazakon baby anymore. So, so. And then he got pissed, of course. And then he killed <laughs> his own mother at the end. 
Jesus. Yeah. That's a, yeah. So it's not a sitcom then? So it's not a sitcom. <laughs> it's not a sitcom. <laughs> So, so Mazakun world from come from this drama. So okay, so uh, if, guys, if you didn't know, in the 1980s and 1990s, a lot of Japanese dramas ended in just crazy violence. <laughs> like, go back and watch she, uh, Japanese TV shows from the 90s. They had not only did they have a lot of money, but they had absolutely no rules. Mm-hmm. Like, they had the most sexual and crazy like uh, variety TV shows that are all completely banned, and they can't have them on TV anymore. Right. So uh, that, it's yeah. not. Octopus, not like Oedipus. Oedipus. It's, it's not Oedipus. Oedipus. Can we just call it octopus now? I, just, I like it, octopus. It's okay, not... it's not an octopus, but the, the, the guy was in the drama, was naked, and the mother touched her, touch him like a baby. Oh, I thought we were going a different direction with this. <laughs> By the way, this is... Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wow. This is live, by the way, guys. We're live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. If you have a comment or something for us, just let us know about the, the octopus. <laughs> Dude. Mm-hmm. Do you recommend watching that drama? That was, like, interesting drama. <laughs> if you can find it on YouTube. I mean, yeah, it's, I believe it's on internet, so you can watch I hope it's on Netflix or something. Oh, that looks so awkward. So when you guys watch that show, when I say you guys, I mean, I want you to represent all of Japan now. Uh, when you guys watch that show, did you feel like this is weird? Yeah, it was weird. That's why it became a huge hit. Because right. it's weird. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then the watered down version of that is Mazakong. So, so, so. Right. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's not quite as bad as Oedipus because that was pretty bad. Oedipus was like, you know, because everything back in the day was just so violent. What was the prophecy? That you're going to have sex with your mother and kill yeah, your father. Uh, father. So they gave the kid away to a shepherd who took him to another king. Yeah. And then he found out about the prophecy. And then he thought, oh, I better move away because I don't want to kill my mother and father or whatever. Yeah. So he moved back to where he came from originally uh, and then killed his dad on the way by accident. Yeah, because he was crossing a bridge or something and his dad disrespected him or something like that. Yeah, killed yeah. him. He didn't know who he was. Yeah. And then he defeated the Sphinx, yeah. the riddle of the Sphinx or whatever, and then fucked his mother and then blinded himself. Yeah, because he, he had never actually Ew. met the mom, so she did, he didn't know who she was. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And okay. then once he found out, he, in a fit of rage, pulled his eyes out, right? What or blinded himself. What a sad story. Oh, my God. So there was like an English writer, philosopher type guy or whatever. And he um, gave a bunch of Greek tragedies to British tabloid newspaper writers. Okay. And said, can you make it as if it's a modern headline? What would you write? Because oh. all British tabloids are really well known for the kind of witty headlines. Or yeah. Whatever. And in English, the word blinding can mean brilliant or good as well. Okay. So in football, for example, you could say, oh, it's a blinding goal he's just scored or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and the headline for Oedipus was uh, Oedipus, sex with mum was blinding. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh, that's so terrible. Oh, oh, made me laugh. Uh, that reminds me of like Onion articles, like when they just have the best, uh, like, like, sarc- uh, what is it? It's not even sarcastic, sarcastic or like, yeah, they're just so funny. They're so witty, the, 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 <laughs> hi- the, the titles. Um, okay, let's be let's let's get off of Mazakon for just a minute and let's talk about what do we do for Mother's what do we do for Mother's Day in Japan? Uh, give Mother's carnation flowers. So carnations in the West are for death flowers, right? Really? I don't know. I think so. That's a that's a Josh problem right there. Huh. Don't give chrysanthemums to people in Japan. You did right to yeah. your mother. I mean wife. wife. Yeah. yeah, not yeah. my mother. My wife, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and wife. she got really pissed off at me. <laughs> and that was like within the first couple of minutes of walking to his house, his wife told me that story. Yeah, yeah, that was funny. I was like, "That's hilarious." Because huh. chrysanthemums in Japan are for funerals, right? Yeah. Why did you pick the flowers? Because they were selling them at the convenience store, not the convenience <laughs> store, the supermarket. They're for funerals, and they're for the yeah. graves. Put them on the graves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's mm. why they sell them there. But I thought, you know, Mother's Day sales. Sell so. Is it for luck, adm- admiration, affection, gratitude, disappointment, or re- no? I guess not. I guess not. I thought chrysanthemums were for funerals in America. I could be wrong. Carnations, mm. you mean? Maybe it's carnations. Only for weddings, you put on like a thing. Maybe it is, yeah. I don't know a lot about flowers. I just like I when I go, I buy a lot of flowers for people. But when I go, I literally go. Here's the price, and here's the target. Mm. Flowers, man. I don't get it because it just seems so expensive for what they are. <laughs> to be honest with you. Well, like, yeah, it's the gesture, right? I can't tell if I'm getting ripped off or not. That's the thing. 
Well, I did take delivery of a fl of flowers from someone uh, not too long ago, and it was like it's like you know, hope this cheers you up, blah 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 blah. And then this is a Japanese company here in Kagoshima, and then at the end, it had the price of the flowers. Oh, on really? It. I was like, what the heck are you doing? This is so bad. Like it's a it's a it's a del delivery flower service, and it had the price on it. I was just like, you guys are dumb. Mm -hmm. That's not good. What's uh, wrong with you? Because but you, we can find out the price. But no, no, but it was written on the on the greeting card. Oh my god, really? I was just like, are you guys stupid? Uh. Like, what's wrong with you? But like, when you order them online, it's easier because you can tell kind of like you've got this price and you get this for it, yeah. or whatever. But you go to a flower shop like down the road or whatever, and you go, uh, I need some flowers for my wife or whatever, bouquet or whatever. And they go, how much do you want to spend? Hmm. And it's like, what do I get? That's what I just <laughs> said. It's like, <clears throat> what you do is you guys say the occasion, the target, and the price. Yeah. yeah. So for example, like if it's like, you know, my girlfriend's birthday, I don't have one. But if I did, I'd be like, uh, girlfriend, birthday, ichimai and mate. Like for mm. up, up to 100 bucks. So I say 5,000 yen, but looks like 8,000. <laughs> Smart. Romantic. Yeah. And thrifty. And then if you find out what your, your wife's like favorite flowers are, you can just recommend that. Like, oh, and she, yeah. she likes, you know, pink roses or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever received flowers? Once from my husband, yes. Once from your husband? Mm -hmm. Aren't you just full of stories of happiness? <laughs> <laughs> do you think he's going to do something for Mother's Day tomorrow? He already did. He already did? To what? his mother, right? No, no, for you. Oh, for me? Because you're a mom. I, I'm not his mother. But, but for mom, you know, like Mother's Day, I think husbands in America will give like the mother of their children something. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's not happening in Japan. Mother's Day is like your own actual mother. Mom. Yeah, yeah actual don't, mother. I don't think we do that in England. I think we just celebrate moms. I'm going to say we don't do that in England just in case my wife watches this. <laughs> I've protected myself. <laughs> <laughs> if you're from Britain and you know better, please leave a comment. Please don't mm. do that. Please don't do that. What do you usually people? What people usually do for Mother's Day in your country? Oh, I do know a Mazakon boy. I just realized my little brother is Mazakon. Oh, really? <laughs> oh my God! Is he? Yeah, he totally is. Not one. Not the, the, it's one of them living at home, and it's because I think it's my mom's Japanese, and she can like just. Take care of everything. Yeah. So he's still living with him? Oh, living yeah. She's oh. Never, he's never moved out. Oh, okay. What was it called? Uh, called him Obeya Ji Chan. Uh, right. He's never moved out. He's never once moved out. I don't want to talk pa crap about him, but he's never moved out. Parasite to kids. That's no, because he helps out and like he, he does thing, He does help all around the house. Uh, uh. He's not a parasite, but like he, he's not. I, now that I think about it, I don't think he's ever left. Can you imagine that? Oh, Isn't God. that because of money thing? No, 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 no. He's fine with that. It's just, it's just like he just never. Yeah. He really feels like, comfortable. I think it's my mom's fault, actually. I think my mom's just like... I mean, my mom, if I wasn't this personality type, she just nurtures and, like, spoils the like, kids. And so, like, because I think she's raised in Japan. And so, like, you can't do that to boys. You got you to gotta crack the whip on boys. Mm. Or else they'll become, like, pussies. That's mm. not good. Mm. Did we find out about England? That looks very British. Pie? Make pie. History of Mother's Day. Mother's Day foods. There are foods for Mother's Day. Is it? Is it? Never heard of it. Simnel cake? Simnel cake. That sounds racist for some reason. <laughs> Sunday Simnel cake. It looks like a Christmas cake with different colored icing. That looks disgusting. Every time I look at food from your country, I'm just like, never going there. Oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> what is Spotted Dick? Yeah. Who named that? <laughs> um... Dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I think we're gonna shut down this show. Uh, if you guys have a mother out there, make sure you're kind to her. Give her some. What was it? Carnations. Mm. Carnations. Yeah. Mm. Be kind to her, but don't fuck her. <laughs> Oedipus. <laughs> yeah, I'm it. Well, <laughs> you know, we we do like we do like a live show, and then we do like a recorded show. We do a live show. Alex is always so good for the live for the recorded shows. He doesn't say anything bad <laughs> the, until the live show happens. He's just like, yeah. well, let's see how far we can go. Well, I'm just kidding. Blame Greek tragedy. That's all I'm saying. It is a really weird, very weird story. It is a weird story. It's a weird story. You Greeks, you weird. All right, guys. Uh, if you have a, a comment about today's show, leave us a comment in the comment below. If you're listening to us on the audio podcast, you can send us a message on Facebook, Small Talk Japan. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you are a Mazakon or know any Mazakon, please let us know. And if you're a Mazakon, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> and why? <laughs> Because I love Where's my mother. Right? <laughs> we'll try to help you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's been our show. See you guys next week. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Hey, everyone. Josh here. 
Thanks for watching this week's episode of Small Talk Japan. Small Talk Japan was filmed and recorded in Kagoshima at Story Studios. This week's episode stars Michi, Natsuki, and Alex. And is produced by me, Josh, and is executive produced by Michi. Hair services provided by Drops Hair Temonkan. This week's episode is sponsored by Stapleton A. Kaiwa. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think of the show. Thanks again for watching, and if you enjoyed the show, click here to subscribe and click here to watch more. See you next time!